seems to be pretty effective, but you have to be like what I would do is take about 20,000 IUs a day, and that's the winter sun. Also, iodine is associated with the skin and every single skin cell. So, sure. Uh, how, how is your, let me just interrupt, how is your uh, kind of Michael Jackson disease, uh, as they call it, how has that, has that gotten any better since you've been cleansing or what happened? Well, I've been dealing with it for probably about five years, five to seven years. It just it kind of came on light and uh, and then got got worse, progressively worse. But it hadn't gotten any any worse since I've been doing this. Oh, well, well, hopefully um, it stopped the progression. Let me just ask my own selfish question. I have a friend named Scott, great musician, famous guy actually. He has that, and the doctor told him he got it about three years after he got on Paxil, and they said no, that's a side effect of Paxil, and he looks like a vampire. I mean, he actually has, you know, like a black pompadour, and he looks kind of handsome. because he's. But it's kind of like, man, does this count Dracula? His skin is totally white, and, uh, and they admitted Paxil did it to him. Have you heard of that? I have heard of that. Yeah, I have heard that different uh, variety of pharmaceuticals can uh, change the melanin-producing compounds within the skin cells. As a matter of fact, there is a company, and I've been looking into it, that actually is selling a powdered melanin and also uh just as a side note the chaga mushroom is is very high in melanin so another thing i might recommend is that you uh, take a chaga mushroom uh extract or powder supplement here's an example when you told me four years ago when we were about to get in business together you said take my proprietary iodine it's not out yet but take it because you've got these aging spots sunspots on your face you won't have as many of those. And after about a few months on it, the, a lot of those went away, 90%, and I get tanner easier now before I just burned. I mean, now I can get as dark as a Mexican. I love it. I mean, I love having dark skin. It looks good. It feels good. I enjoy it. I enjoy the sun. Uh, but wow, I mean, that. how did the iodine make my skin get darker? Well, because iodine is used for every single cell in the body. And when you start providing the nutrients, see, the skin takes a beating because it's the outside. It's the same epithelial tissue as the bowel and the good thing about it is the inside of the bowel regenerates every 24 hours and the skin does this why it flakes off all the time but if you don't have the proper nutrition coming into your body because your skin layers start deep and you're in the deepest layer will ultimately rise to the top so the cleaner you are and the more nutritious you eat will provide a healthier skin cell to come mm. so what happened with you is you started regulating your diet, you started eating healthier, you had the iodine, which was balancing out your hormones better, your thyroid was getting balanced out, and your your skin cells deep below were, was, were getting the iodine to produce everything that they needed to produce, the oils, the melanin, My skin has gotten everything oilier. like that. So as it came up to the surface, your skin was healthier and it'll continue to be healthier. That is one thing, my skin has gotten oilier. It's gotten healthier. But it has gotten oilier. I guess the iodine does that? Yeah, which is great because the oil is there to protect you from the sun and protect you from... So instead of putting lotion on, my body's giving me my own. Yeah. All right, sir, I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Dan. You got a lot of info. I hope you get better. God bless you. Well, offshore banks have taken over the country and our universities. They've divided the people against themselves. And now they're trying to scapegoat police as the only problem in society, hoping that the revolution that's coming never focuses on the new world order itself. We'll be covering this a lot more in the fourth hour today. I've been doing three hours here for many years. We're starting a fourth hour into syndication with myself many days, but also my other great anchors, reporters, and researchers. And we're going to look at the fact that babies are being aborted after birth on purpose with whistleblowers, and they're killing them with vaccines knowing it's killing them. And this is part of the program. Just like Bayer knew for 12 years, working with Bill Clinton, that they were shipping out of Arkansas prison system blood with HIV and hepatitis A, B, and C in it. And when it came out in the memos, it was the corporate meetings going, we need to get rid of these hemophiliacs anyways. They're a weight on society. Ship the blood. So it's this weird attitude like kill somebody who's hemophiliac or kill, kill a baby that's, you know, a preemie and weighs four pounds. I mean, this is really an evil death cult, what I call the death wing, that we're facing. And I don't have words to describe how evil these people are. Um, I try to fund our operation and become successful and large in the face of the globalists. That's the only way you can fight them, by selling and promoting things that 
aren't going to block everything they're doing to us, everything we've done to ourselves. It isn't all the New World Order. But you do the liver shield, liver cleanse every day with water mixed with apple cider vinegar for six days, twice a day. And then on the sixth day, uh, you take the olive oil, about six, eight ounces of that, drink it, uh, and lay on your side that has your liver and your gallbladder on it. And, of course, every night for the six days, take four to eight, depending on how big you are, uh, of the oxy powder, higher level oxygen that releases in the upper and lower intestines, the large and small intestine. It is spectacular. I mean, spe I mean, I lost like 10 pounds when I did it the first time, five pounds the next. Rob Dew lost 12 pounds. We should really put all those testimonials together. Liver Shield is back uh, in tomorrow. The truck is on its way here. Deep Cleanse is now back in our facility. It's actually been in for a few days. We we're waiting for Dr. Group to get here. Both these products are now available at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Uh, and cleansing yourself will at least push a lot of the garbage that's sitting in your gallbladder or sitting in your blood or sitting in your bone marrow out. Uh, my dad, you know, is a chemist and a retired oil surgeon and dentist, and he's formulated um, nutraceuticals for FDA approval before. That's why we got him working with the company, and he does a great job. And he always told me, don't do it all the time, but if you get exposed to something toxic, he goes, I do it occasionally, do a week of basically not eating solid foods, drinking, you know, lemon and stuff with water. This is what he'd been told by old chemists, you know, decades ago that would be exposed to bad stuff. Grignard reagents is what he called them. He was told this by an old UT chemist. Lemon with the water, I guess that alkalizes you or something, I'm not sure. Uh, fast for a week, but the water needs to be distilled. Mm -hmm. And he said more than a week or so, distilled water he believes is toxic because it, I guess, is a chelator as well, and it drags toxins out. Is that correct, Dr. Group? Well, according to the research, yes, that is correct. Uh, right now, I think we have so many. I mean, distilled water is really a dead water, but it's also the cleanest water because that's the only way that you can get all of the chemicals and the fluoride. But it has an effect, though, of pulling stuff out, It right? does have an effect. Of, it's a hungry water, so it does have the effect of pulling toxic materials and could potentially pull other good minerals. Well, he was told that by an old top chemist at UT. Do you think that's true? I think it is true, but the good thing about it is he also recommended putting lemon juice in there. Lemon juice is a real highly negatively charged uh, compound, and that's why it's so good at cleansing. And, and anybody that has, it's an old remedy we used to use for years and years for kids. Sure, every grandma says you got a cold, you know, shot of uh, Jack Daniels or Jameson's with a whole lemon in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you what, for kidney stones, it's, it's you know, having somebody just fast on lemon juice and water... It's great because the, it's such a those negative electrons will break down those stones slowly over a period of time. So it is a good cleanser, and that is a good way. You know, take three or four days and just drink nothing but water and lemon juice, and you will be able to clean your body up pretty good. Absolutely. So it's not just getting our products, folks, but it's anything to counter the globalist. Ernie in California, thanks for holding her on the air. Hello there. I'm so glad that I could finally uh, connect with you, AJ, and uh, Dr. Group. Glad to speak with you, too. I have a suggestion for you, Alex, and also a question for the doctor. Uh, can you hear me okay? Loud and clear, brother. Great. Uh, my question for you, uh, Dr. Group, uh, and I'd like for you to answer after I've given my comment to, to AJ, if you don't mind, I'll get off the line at that point. Sure. Uh, I recently moved, uh, I had to move to an upper uh, unit. Uh, it's only temporary. Uh, I've, I moved knowing that the cigarette smoke at the lower, on the lower unit was going to really be a problem. It's a huge problem, just expanded problem more so than I, I thought it would be. What would you think would be the best way to help mitigate uh, the, the toxic effects of the secondhand smoke that comes up from the plumbing and uh, wherever else? And uh, and how, on an ongoing basis, can I protect myself until I can manage to move out as quickly as I can? Uh, AJ, I have, I'm, I'm in complete accord with what you've been saying about what appears to be an agenda of uh, creating racial tension uh, for a specific purpose. And I've been watching and uh, observing. I have a suggestion. Since uh, I, I started listening to you back in 2009 when uh, I became aware of just the extent to which the media was hiding the natural born issue and how uh, Obama is not natural born, that um, uh, you have engaged uh, periodically in uh, sort of uh, um, offensiveness 
to mitigate evil. And whether it's, uh, you know, you, you do um, video um, contests or info bombs or whatever. I'd like to suggest to you now that you look, you, you and your, your fantastic crew put your heads together over time, as short a time as possible, and really come up with something innovative, something that consider this blog talk uh, uh, screw job, nut job, uh, as a shot across the bow, and look for a way that would help to in, maybe include all of us out in the world uh, who, who are listeners to 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 come up with something or to participate in some way. Some sure, like in mass to go in and have an effect. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do that, and, 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 and we should think about that. Really great question, great comment. Um, my research on secondhand smoke is tobacco itself is very psychoactive, extremely powerful. The mafia used to wear rubber gloves underneath uh, leather gloves in the winter. They would come up and throw pure nicotine on somebody on their back or whatever, would go through their shirt, that they'd have a heart attack 20 minutes later and die. It's, a, I guess, a visoconstrictor. Uh, so it's deadly poison. Uh, but like marijuana, it may actually have some health benefits, some derivatives, but we're not pushing that. Pure tobacco itself obviously isn't good for you overall when you're smoking it. But with the hundreds of additives that we know they put in to make it more addictive, this, when you smell cigarettes now, I mean, they smell like the most nasty crap on earth. Uh, and that's one reason I quit smoking cigarettes. I never smoked them really heavy, but I smoked some here and there when I had beer or whatever. But about six, seven years ago, they started tasting so horrible, no matter what brand, with the fire retardant in them, that, I mean, no one could smoke that. I still, somebody has a cigar, and it's a good one. I like it. So something's changed in tobacco. It's gotten even more weaponized. And when I smell one now just blowing outside, it makes me sick. Uh, what's going on with cigarettes, and what could he do to try to detox or mitigate that? Well, for secondhand smoke, the easiest way to mitigate that is to clean the air in your environment. And I recommend there's a company called RGF, and they have plug-in units, and they have whole house system units that are available. And that's the same company. It's a U.S.-based company that actually developed the air purification systems during the SARS outbreak in China when China put together a research team to try to determine the best air purification systems. And they use an ionized hydroperoxide system. That's the one I use in my house. But you can also put two or three live plants in each room of your house. It's amazing at how many toxins plants will absorb. And then, of course, you want to look at uh, not putting any paints that uh, are going to emit any volatile organic compounds, et cetera. And then, of course, cleansing your body, cleansing your lungs. Uh, we do have a formula here called Lung Cleanse, which is a very effective product at cleansing uh, and regenerating the lung tissue. I've used it. Many people around the world have used it. There's amazing reviews about it. Anything from, you know, difficulty breathing to uh, lung health. It's really kind of hard to clean the lungs, but secondhand smoke and all of the things that we're exposed to in the air every single day it's a vital part. That's why I developed a product specifically for the lungs because sure. we breathe 30,000 breaths every single day. We have to have some way to clean the lungs. Well, Dr. Group, again, from the globalhealingcenter.com, joins us. For me, it's just realizing the natural things that God gave us in the environment are the counter to all this, and it really works, and it's that obvious. But even drug companies and, and nutraceutical companies, we're under a lot more regulations then say the cigarette makers, not when it comes to taxes or where they can sell it, but their additives, all these grandfathered laws with food additives and tobacco additives where they can put hundreds of chemicals in that are incredibly toxic and addictive. So there's this whole science to Franken food, Franken tobacco, you name it, that's the real problem. Jim in Colorado, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Welcome. Hi, Dr. Group. I called to thank you. I uh, was listening to you about two and a half months ago, and I had suffered for several decades with discomfort under my right side rib cage. And uh, as I always do, I was listening to Alex in the background when I was doing things here in the house. And I heard you speak about gallbladder cleansing and liver cleansing, and my ears perked up because of the things you were describing sounded exactly like the discomfort and pain that I had been enduring 
<clears throat> so 